Hello, a Nomad Sculpt tutorial about how to create such moldings like on the picture. Okay, Nomad Sculpt, yes, like this one. Okay, let's create a new scene. The sphere we don't need. Let's bring in a box. This is our building. Yes, we don't need much topology for the building. Okay, perspective off. Okay, for the molding we need a, a profile. And for the profile I'm creating a reference. I use for this a plane, bring in a plane. And here I'm placing the plane in the position where the profile should start, like this. We need a little bit more topology because I want to paint on this plane. It's only a helping plane. Uh, validate this object and Bring it in a position like this, so now we can see it. The top view. I'm locking the top view, and I'm using now the paint tool. Color black and a small radius. Okay. Should look like this, then a curve, then a little bit like this, and um, yes, this is the profile of the molding. Okay. Let's use the trim tool, make sure that hole filling is off and start with the rectangular tool and trim away the parts we don't need. Lasso. like this and yes it's okay for demonstration is okay um, I'm painting it again in white okay this profile um, the poly count is a little bit high um, I mask this object and I extract it And when you now use the decimation, press it a few times. One. Okay, let's look at it. I think it's a. Yes, it's nice shape. And we don't need the whole thing. Um, Again, the cell mask masks the part, this part we need, and we can split it. This is the mesh we need. This is okay, and the plane we don't need also. This is our helping contour. To work fine um, yes okay you see it <laughs> um, in the top view you can lock the top view and I hope now uh, Nomad don't crashes um, I don't know why because we only use the lace tool in the lace tool here is um, a setting for the axis use the dynamic function 
and you can uh, use the symmetry and uh, show line and show plane uh, to see the center of the, the mesh or the center better. Okay, um, now lace tool, use the pass, place the first point and the second and try to make it straight and press the green button and now let's go back to the lace tool and at the bottom you can lock it and we need black dots okay here start with this one and it's better to use the additive um, material to see through the mesh we can now place here our, our points, we can zoom in, This point we need white. Nice curve. And the last point, bring it a little bit inside. And this one we have to trim something off. I think it looks nice. This is uh, the molding. Okay, I think we can now validate the object. And now use the trim. I hope it works. Um, you can use hole filling and trim this part away and it looks okay. In the front view we can trim this part away. Okay. The next step is we need the, the line trim. 45 degrees is okay and use now the line tool, but turn off hole filling. And we can zoom, we can lock the front view again, and we can zoom in and place here the line tool and trim off this part. Now it looks like this. We can set it now back to opaque to see it better. The next step is to use hold the mask button and press on the screen to mask the object. And now in the topology, in this menu here, there's a, a action close holes. Press it and use a, a higher detail. I think it works better. And in the mask settings here, you can split now the mesh. Uh, press split and um, now you have this um, part here and this part you can use the mask again and extract it. You can use a, a higher number extract. And here in the front view, you can use again the cell mask. Where is it? Here. We need the lasso. Mask this part here. And you can now use the gizmo. I make it additive again. Oops. I lock the front view. 
and now you can bring it here in position. There's no snapping and I think this is okay. And now this part is fine. Okay. Next step is top view. You can clear the mask. Use the trim tool and hole filling off is okay. Lock the front view. Why this happens, I don't know. And um, you can now trim it here, like this. And do the same thing with a mask it, a mask it and in the topology close holes and in the mask settings split the mesh again. The next step is always the same trim and then mask then hole filling now mask it and the mask you can extract it and the next step is cell mask and top view and use a gizmo and yes additive is always uh, nice to see through the mesh Is it okay? okay? I think. Yes, it could work. Okay. Now we have the parts. And for straight uh, objects, you can also use the mirror function. And <clears throat> then it's okay. Now I use the mirror from right to the left. And for this object, we can also use the right to the left. And this, um, for this object, I think we have to close um, this side here. Close holes and mirror it. And then it's okay. The last thing we have to do is Here in the top view, clear the mask and turn on hole filling and trim away the, the parts we don't need. Now the molding is okay. Now we can clean our our scene a little bit. Oops. I think this we don't need this box. Three parts. And let's see what we got. And use a uh, post-processing, a nice clean molding. Okay, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.